hint your name, who you work for, and I'm going to say the most excited piece of wearable technology that you're looking forward to right now. Mickey Maher, I work for Unity, uh, Senior Director of Business Development in the Unity Services Division. Uh, the thing I'm looking most forward to and have been for a while is on the mobile side, if you call it mobile, is smart TVs. Hi, I'm Tina Tran. I run business development for Halfbrick Studios. Um, I am doing publishing press as well, so if there are people out here that are looking um, for publishing help, come talk to me afterwards. And in terms of wearables, I think um, fitness is a big part of my life, and it's kind of fun to share fitness goals with your friends and family and get each other motivated. So, Sort of, that's kind of the area of wearables that's most interesting to me right now. Uh, my name is Hyde Greeley. I'm director of developer relations for Samsung. And I, I was supposed to pretend to be Suzanne. Sorry. I, 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 but, uh, I think you could have gotten away with it. Yeah, I was going to try and carry that. Uh, so I think for wearables, I'm actually really interested in seeing where we go with uh, sensor technology. Uh, some people might have actually seen an announcement that Samsung did back at the end of May about a platform that we're uh, working on. And some of the sensor tech that uh, is involved in that is just really amazing. And uh, so I think, you know, sensors are one of the things that really transform mobile with phones. And I think where it's going to be really fascinating to see what happens uh, elsewhere. Uh, so Fabian, I'm the general manager at Perfect Quad for the mobile uh, game division. And uh, well, I guess for next year, VR, you know, you guys are on it uh, with uh, Oculus, uh, Facebook, uh, you have Sony with Morpheus. And I think if you look at the lines, whether it's at GDC, E3, and all those conferences, you're seeing hundreds of gamers waiting to try something new. Um, having tried a lot of those devices, I could say I think beyond the gamers, we're going to see a mass adoption of those devices way more quickly than the wearables, <laughs> which I'm not very bullish about, uh, if only because the design so far of what we have seen is not very good. Uh, and I do think the same as Google Glasses, it's really challenging to convince people to adopt wearables if they don't look cool wearing them. Um, and, uh, you know, for the rest, I will say um, self-driving car, but that's probably ne next year. <laughs> I'm Fernando Pizarro, I'm the general manager of North America for Papaya Mobile and our mobile ad network, which is AppFlood. Um, I think the thing that's exciting to me in the wearable space is sort of the opposite of sensor technology, which is sort of passively taking in the information from your environment to active technology around improving performance. So things like improving your mental acuity with, with um, uh, electrical impulses and improving vision and um, potentially even bionics. I mean, that's, that's where I think six, six billion dollar man is where I think wearables should go. Awesome. Okay, so today's panel is kind of a snapshot of the Android ecosystem as a whole as it stands right now. So obviously we are here at Google I.O. It has been a busy day. Not everybody has had a chance to really let the full keynote sink in, which is fine. But I pulled out a couple of different things from the, uh, from the talk that I want to get some at least initial impressions.